What's up guys? Tonight I'm going to show you how to put your antimatter 30 amp charger discharger into regenerative discharge mode. Just go back a couple here. Regenerative discharge. So yes we want it on, yes up to 30 amps. And when you turn this down to suit whatever battery is installed, I did have it up on 24 volts up here so I had it sort of a regenerative discharge up to 28 we're going to set it to 14.4 ish and when we discharge this little battery there it goes 14.4 so we click OK that's all set pull that acid battery So we'll just make sure this battery is charged first. It's pretty close to sitting in the 13 static by itself. The current's dropping back off straight away, so it must be pretty close to charge. It's a 12 volt, 5 amp hour. Sealed that acid. We'll call it charged enough for the sake of this. So we go discharge. 12 volt. We're going to change the 30 amp stand to about 10. We don't really need to discharge at 30. If I had a much bigger battery pack, we'd think about 30. 10 and a half will do. Comes up and says regenerative discharge. Make sure you're sure you're sure. As you see, we're ripping the current out of there. It's a ten and a half. It then shows you the voltage of the input and the amount of current that's heading to the input. So pushing eight point six volts at thirteen point three, eight point six amps at thirteen point three volts back into this battery. So when you're discharging and charging your batteries. Not only can you get up to a 30 amp discharge rating, which is just awesome, you can also not so much waste the energy. Traditionally, when you discharge with an IMAX or with uh, little ZB discharge boards or whatever, especially when you're testing your 18650s, you just literally waste that, uh, waste that energy off into no man's land. You turn it into heat, and then you've got to deal with dissipating it and the resistors change and the readings change, etc. So there you go, you can discharge out of this battery, goes into the unit, comes back out of the unit to charge this battery. All while giving you a current rating. That's actually pretty amazing. That's staying up above 12 volts with a 10.5 amp load on it. That's, that's a good battery. So I will actually test all of these and just paint marker their capacity on them. I do have uh, eight of them, I believe, and then I've got some six volt ones over there on the bench. All right, that's lead acid to lead acid. Let's see what happens if we go lithium. So let's get that out of the way. As with his buddy, let's connect up our really old school sample test pack. These leads are quite thick and solid, so they've got a fair old memory effect. They kind of move a bit, so they're reasonably good quality. You can get good 20, 25 amps from. So, we want 
LiPo discharge. So you can set your end voltage, set your current, and you can set what. So we're going to discharge it. Well, let's go 20 amps. So that's going to stop voltage. We'll go down to three. I'm not sure how charged this battery is, but uh, yes, we want a regenerative. So it's now pulling out of the lipo pack. Twenty amps. You're pushing five point three amps back into this battery. Not only is this great for discharging, great for um, working out capacities of things, this also means you can take anywhere up to whatever the leads can handle out of a 1S LiPo pack and charge a higher voltage pack with it. Now I'm only charging a 12 volt battery with this but you can charge up to a 36 volt battery. So you can stick at least three of those, four of those in series and recharge them of something this small. I'm not 100% sure on efficiencies. Uh, we could do some maths. Um, but it has to, be, has to be pretty reasonable. We're getting 5.2 amps at 13 volts. In here, and we're taking 20 amps out at... Um, 3.8 volts. So we can do the math on that. We'll work that out. Um, but yeah, what a fast way of discharging without completely wasting the energy. So my new plan with doing my discharge testing on packs that I build is I'll discharge and cycle lipos, things like that. And I've got a few. I think it's a six amp, eight amp volt battery. I'm going to use this to charge batteries and to discharge batteries connected to my sealed lead acids up there on my off-grid setup. So, nice sunny day when I've got lots of solar panels, lots of solar happening. I can charge lipos up with the charger. And when, uh, when I'm a bit low or running, running out of power a little bit, a couple, a couple of crappy days with no sun or whatever like that or I've just used a heap of it and I want to cycle a battery or say I'm cycling a lead acid to uh, see if it's any good that I've picked up from the scrapyard I can just feed it back just feed it back in that easy and this beautiful unit runs that nice and cool that it's not actually no, not even run at its fan. I couldn't hear it. One thing I like, you don't have to always cycle back through to get to the thing you want. If you press the start button after you're looking at the part in the menu that you wanted to see, you only have to press it once and you get back to it. So something that's relevant like this on our regenerative testing, you can easily get back and see. This awesome little LiPo is over 100 amp hour. And uh, in just three minutes it's put out over an amp, one amp already over one amp hour and it's holding 3.8 volts with 20 amps of load on it this goes to show you the power of these lipos alright that's it for now guys we uh, also have this awesome little setup where we can use a small battery like this which is semi sealed um, light enough, small enough that we can pick it up and carry it around or this one for instance we can connect our LiPo charger and we can actually charge a 24 volt truck and jump start something like a 24 volt truck or a flat vehicle this thing will pick up the battery it'll work out what's going on with it it'll charge it it'll stop if this gets too flat it'll stop when the other battery's charged it's just mega handy that it's got such a massive voltage range up to 36 volts if you're going to buy a LiPo charger don't bother buying anything else, I don't think. I did get sent this for free from, 
banggood.com uh, for the purpose of review and uh, got a deal going on with them highly highly recommend it if I get more things to test more stuff to do I will buy a second one just for the sake of having to um, I recommend something serious like this 40 amp 13.8 volt power tech um, power supply or a 24 volt 20 ish amp um, switch my power supply would suffice uh, but you're gonna need some amps you're gonna need some power because uh, this has huge potential if you don't have big power go to scrapyard and get yourself a half decent battery and uh, you can trickle the power in your, to the battery with whatever you do have to charge it and then you can put out bulk power with this but regenerative discharging comes up and says RDC there best thing ever thanks heaps for watching YouTube I hope you liked the videos uh, to do with the uh, antimatter 30 amp lipo charger discharger balance charger great little unit you're going to see these in heaps more videos I will uh, show you some more of its features very soon including uh, electric motor running and it's got a foam cutter as well so you can use it as a power supply not only a uh, not only a battery charger I'm going to leave this run and we'll see what kind of uh, current we managed to get out of it overnight uh, I've got a feeling that this battery will be charged before that battery is flat but that's what happens thanks heaps for watching catch us on the next video